Welcome to the Office 365 update for February of 2017. As we started working on this update video, we paused to take a look back at our humble origins. This series started three years ago, back when I still thought it was styling to wear a pink shirt. Come to think of it, I might be overdue for a wardrobe refresh now. I'm going to have to noodle on that one a bit more. The original update series was available only to Microsoft internal employees. At their request, we began publishing the Office 365 update series on YouTube in October of 2015 to make that content available to our customers and partners. The response has been phenomenal, and according to the Power BI dashboard I whipped up, the Office 365 update series now has over 300,000 views on YouTube. I'm pleased that we've also been able to fulfill another user request. We added an RSS feed so you can subscribe to this video via your favorite podcast player or RSS reader. We're already in the iTunes podcast library, and of course there's the Windows Phone podcast player, but please let me know what podcast player you use and we'll work to set that up if there's enough demand. As always, everything you need to subscribe to the podcast or get more detail on anything we address in this video is in the additional resources. Microsoft is always making improvements to Office 365, and the goal of these videos is to demonstrate how you can leverage those improvements to help you or your organization do more. The best part of my job is hearing how this series is positively impacting your life, like this email I recently received from the IT manager of a popular restaurant chain here in the U.S. In this age of digital transformation, Microsoft's goal is to make life a bit easier, not only for IT managers like Sean, but for all Office users. 